G'day and welcome to the Brits in the NRL Round 23 review. Now, not some great results for the Brits this week. Uh, we'll start with the Canberra Raiders. Um, they were involved in the match of the round for the third consecutive week. And I think it took a bit of a toll this week, although in a, in a fantastic game of footy. They, they're, just, they're playing finals footy now. They got defeated 18-14 at home by Manly Seagulls. And that's not unusual. Manly actually having a winning record uh, down in the capital. They always trouble the Raiders. Um, it was just a grind, a really tough game. And, it, you know, after two tough weeks against the top two sides, the Raiders maybe just just were a little bit off their game. It was top quality stuff. Very stop start. The ref blew the pee out of the whistle, which didn't help the, uh, the flow of the game. Now, the Englishmen on the field, they all had very good games. Uh, they just couldn't get the lollies. Uh, Josh Hodgson, he played the full 80 minutes, 48 Meter, running metres and 36 tackles. Probably not as much running as he'd like, but that could be due to the stop-start nature of the game. It was really hard to get a roll on in this game due to the amount of penalties. Uh, John Bateman had another terrific game. I mean, this, this game suited him down to the ground. It was rough and tough, and he just loves grinding games. Um, again, played the full 80 minutes, 97 running metres, 39 post-contact metres, two tackle breaks, four offloads, 36 tackles. That my friends, it's a good day out, despite the loss. And just a little aside too, uh, I know Johnny was up watching England stage a miraculous victory in the Ashes, and so was I. If I'm looking a bit dusty, I was up till 2am this morning watching Ben Stokes tear the heart out of the Aussies and keep back on track. But Jared Croker uh, had sent a little tweet to uh, Mr Bateman on uh, day one about being out all out for 67 with a winky smiley face. Well, guess who returned serve on Twitter last night? I know who else was up till 2 a.m. watching that brilliant English victory last night. John Bateman. So, Jared Croker, don't go the early crow, mate. One all, game on. Okay, back to, back to the footy, back to the real game. Elliot Whitehead, another excellent game from him. Uh, again, full 80 minutes as usual. 67 running metres, 27 post-contact metres. Again, the ball doesn't go his side of the field as much. But he was involved in a brilliant piece of work to get Jared Croker over the line. One try system, one beautiful offload that got Croker the only try of the first half. And 27 tackles, another big game from Elliot. Week in, week out, he is an excellent player. One of the first picked by Ricky Stewart. I put him in the elite company in the NRL. I think he's a fantastic player. And Ryan Sutton, big game starting at lock. He played 54 minutes, but 114 metres, 48 post-contact metres, 31 tackles, excellent effort from Ryan Sutton. Now, here's, here's who didn't play. Chris McQueen, Ryan Hall, Herbie Farnworth, Sam Burgess and Tom Burgess. Five English players injured at the moment, or well, in the case of George, suspended. Um, that's not great news, but for the Burgess boys, they'll be smiling because the Bunnies got home 22-20 in a classic victory over the Broncos. Great game up at Suncorp. That's kept them in the hunt for the top four. They're coming fifth on four and against. And it was all down to a, a Damien Cook brilliant tackle on Corey Oates in the last minute. Just dropped him dead, dropped the big horse dead. Now, Cook has been missing the Burgess boys, but somehow found a way to get his game back on track. Uh, he brought his A game to that one. So Sam Burgess should be back this week. And Thomas, I think, will be probably back in the last round against the Roosters. Now, back on the field. And the Dragons, boy oh boy, this season can't finish quick enough for them. They are now 15th on the ladder after a 34-12 loss to the Roosters. It was all over at halftime. It was 28 nil at halftime. The Dragons didn't put up much of a fight. Gareth Widdop, yeah, no impact. Uh, one tackle break, one line break, very ineffective. Uh, James Graham, though, he only played 42 minutes, but 114 running metres, two tackle breaks and 24 tackles. That is a hell of an effort in 42 minutes from James Graham. He's still trying his guts out and you'd expect nothing less from the big fella. And finally, we finish off with the Gold Coast Titans and Callum Watkins. Now, look, the Titans went down 24-8 to the Storm in Melbourne, but they led 8-6 at half time. And I tell you what, for putting in effort, they could show the Newcastle Knights a thing or two. The Newcastle Knights, with the top eight spot on the line, their season on the line, Gutless performance, spineless, 
and you look at the the effort that the Titans put in. They're coming stone motherless last. Callum Watkins typified that. Full 80 minutes, 107 running metres, 44 post-contact metres. One tackle break, three offloads. That is an excellent game from Callum Watkins. Full of heart, and I tell you what, that'll give Justin Holbrook something to hang his hat on when he comes next year. The Titans put in, and hopefully, even though they didn't win, it might give them a bit of a springboard for next year. There is some, some fight left in that team and that club, and that's good news. So there we are. There's the Brits in the NRL. Um, probably my player of the week, once again, John Bateman. He had a really good game for the Raiders, despite the loss. And they've got another massive game this week against the Sharks in the Shire. So it doesn't get any easier for the Raiders. They're fighting for a top four spot. They're coming third on four and against. And they just need to keep putting in uh, excellent effort week in, week out, which the four Englishmen do. They set the tone. That's it. I'll see you next week for another Brits in the NRL.